Hello. Hello. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here's our question. What have you learned from your hiyas sa kadayawan journey? Ano ang natutuhan mo sa iyong pagsali sa hiyas sa kadayawan? I learned joining hiyas sa kadayawan. I learned to promote, protect, and preserve our culture. I want to be a prime mover of change, to a change that will inspire the youth, everyone, Moros and IPs. Thank you. Muragdaghan kag fans tonight. Say hi to your fans. Okay, here's your question. What does ahiyasa kadayawan mean to you? Para sa iyo, ano ang kahulugan ng hiyas sa kadayawan? Personally, I believe that hiyas sa kadayawan is a showcase of brave, passion, and love for one's tribe. It is because when you have these three characteristics of a hiyas sa kadayawan, you will be able to stand firm and strong for your tribe, to preserve your tribe, to protect your tribe, and to be a warrior of your tribe. That would be all. Thank you. And here's your question. What can a woman do to overcome discrimination that limits her from achieving her goals in life? Ano ang magawa or magagawa ng isang babae upang mahinto ang diskriminasyon na pumipigil sa kanya na makamit ang kanyang mga layunin sa buhay? As a woman, you need to stand for yourself. Kasi wala na mga mag-stand sa iyong sarili kung di ikaw. Yun lang po at maraming salamat. I just want to take this opportunity also to, to say, cultural differences should not separate us from each other. Rather, cultural diversity should bring a collective strength that can benefit all of the humanity. That would be all. Thank you. Paayong gabi, Diana Ruth. How are you? <laughs> okay. Now here's your question. As a woman who belongs to a cultural community, what is the most difficult challenge that you face today? Bilang isang babae na kabilang sa isang tribo o bangsa, ano ang pinakamahirap na hamon na kinahaharap mo ngayon? As a woman in our tribe, I think that one of the challenges that I face is that to being able to believe in yourself that you have a great future above ahead. And I think that as I joined Hiyasa Kadewan, I have learned more about my tribe that has helped me be able to know that as a Matig Salug woman, we are a warrior that not only to protect our rights and our lands, which is our ancestral domain, but we are a warrior in terms of facing every challenges that we face in life. And that's all. Thank you. Good evening, Lady Ray. Good How are you? Sir, I am nervous, but I think it's natural because we have nervous system. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, yeah. So just relax and say hi to all your fans. Okay. Hello, everyone. Daghan kay salamat sa pag-witness sa coronation sa Hiyas sa Kadawan. And also to my families and my classmates all the way from Marilog District and also to our deputy. And are you ready now to answer? <sighs> okay. okay. Here's your question. Amidst the pandemic, how will you handle the responsibilities of a hiyasa kadayawan if you win tonight? Kung mananalo ka ngayong gabi, paano mo gagampanan ang iyong responsibilidad bilang hiyasa kadayawan sa gitna ng pandemya? As an empowered woman of the Obo Manobo tribe, one thing that my tribe influenced me is the attitude of determination. And I believe that this um, attitude of mine will help me to cope up the different challenges that I'll be facing when I become the Hiyas Sakadayuan because I believe that through determination, we can achieve a brighter future of ourselves and of course, to our beloved Davao City. Thank you. Here's your question. How will your advocacy project help unite Dabawenos regardless of their ethnic background? Paano makakatulong ang, inyo, ang iyong advocacy project sa pagkakaisa ng mga Dabaweno, kabilang man sa pangkat etniko o hindi? 
Maraming salamat sa iyong katanungan. Can you please repeat again? Sorry, sorry, sorry guys. Nakabahan ako. No problem. Again, how will your advocacy project help unite the Bawenos regardless of their ethnic background? Paano makakatulong ang iyong advocacy project sa pagkakaisa ng mga Dabawenyo, kabilang man sila sa pangkat etniko o hindi? Makakatulong ang akin advocacy because hindi lang to para sa isang tribe. Ito ay para sa lahat. Kung ito ay mapupromote man bilang aking proposal project sa aking community, ito ay GMRC na may iwasan ng diskriminasyon at ang gagamit, gagamitin kong highlights sa aking advocacy na mamagitan ng GMRC ay ang kaugalian ng isang Iranon sa bangsa Iranon. Thank you. All right. Here's your question, Alneza. If you will win the crown, how do you plan on building on a legacy as a hiyas sa kadayawan? Kung ikaw ang mananalo ngayong gabi, ano ang iyong plano upo ang upang makabuo ng isang pamana, pamana bilang hiyas sa kadayawan? Thank you for that question. First and foremost, if I will become the hiyas sa kadayawan 2022 tonight, the legacy that I will be leaving in this moment of my lifetime is that I want to serve as a beacon of hope and light not only for my tribe but also for the rest of the 11 ethno-linguistic tribe of Davao City because personally I know what it feels like to be excluded because I have not seen my tribe represented enough in textbooks, history books, and even on national television. And through myself, I will use myself as an instrument for equal recognition of all 11 ethno-linguistic tribes. That would be all. Thank you so much. Here's your question to Ria. How did the pandemic change you and your cultural community? Paano binago ng pandemya ang iyong sarili at iyong tribo o bangsa? Amidst the pandemic, our culture, our tribe became more strong. Our traditions known as one of the best tradition here in Davao. I believe that during pandemic, we became one of the most strong and independent people here in the world. I believe that if we could use our power to, if we could use our power to encourage each and every one of us, then we can be a more strong Filipino Muslim. Thank you. What do you think is the best way of promoting the diverse culture of Davao City? Ano sa tingin mo ang pinakamahusay na paraan ng pagtataguyod ng iba't ibang kultura ng lungsod ng Davao? Thank you for that question. So, I believe that the best thing to promote our culture here in Davao City is through this Hiyas sa Kadayawan 2022. This treasures and celebrates the beauty and core value of cultural diversity and its 11 ethno-linguistic tribes. And I believe that this is a manifestation that our city is eventually recovering from the pandemic and that we are able to bounce back stronger as an individual, as a tribe, and as a constituent in this promising land, Davao City, and to truly show that indeed, life is here. Shukran. What is the biggest influence your community elders have given you that you could bring as hiyas sa kadayawan? Ano ang pinakamalaking impluensya na nakuha mo sa mga nakakantanda sa inyong komunidad na maaari mong magamit bilang hiyas sa kadayawan? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatahu. Thank you for your question, ma'am. The biggest beautiful in my culture na ikatutulong sa aming ang pinakamaganda ay ang pagkakaisa, pagkakaunawaan. At higit sa lahat, hindi, iwina, hindi iwinawasak ang aming kultura, rituals, cultural, and tradition that will be thank you and wassalam. Ning fans, dyan sa gilid, oh. All right.
Here you go, my Sarah. Your question is, what part of your culture are you proud of and why? Anong bahagi ng iyong kultura ang ipinagmamalaki mo at bakit? Ang bahagi ng aking kultura na ipinagmamalaki ko ay ang pagiging brave. Tausog are known for being brave. Brave in a good way. Brave that pinaglalaban namin ang tama, pinaglalaban namin ang amin. And I just want to say, Tindog Bangsa Tausog.